everyone it is Beth with flying by the seed of my plants and um, I just want to bring you along today I am planting my uh, lettuce uh, just a few days ago I planted um, January I think it was the 24th I planted um, my onions bunching onions and I'm just checking to see what today's date is it's the 28th so it was either the 24th or the 26th that I started my onions and the bunching onions I'm already starting to see sprouts so that makes me really happy that's only a couple of days um, so today I am setting up my grow lights and I thought I would share the one type of grow light that I have um, I have actually seven of them and I have a shelf that I put up in my uh, dining room I don't have a basement so um, I put it up during the seed starting season and when everything goes outside, that's when I finally take it down and put all the grow lights away properly in their boxes. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. I have a grow light in the um, in my laundry room, and that just stays up. It hangs underneath the counter, and that one does give off heat. So under that grow light is where I start my tomatoes and my peppers. Um, right now I do have the onions in there, but I'll be moving them to the other gr uh, grow lights that I have. These are LED grow lights, so they don't get hot. Uh, they don't, they give off some heat, but not as much as the other one. And tomatoes and peppers do like some heat when, um, you're starting them. So, um, anyhow, I'm setting those up in these grow lights I got from Arrow Garden. Uh, I believe it was on Amazon and these are called the Aero Garden, A-E-R-O Garden, LED grow lights. It's a 45 watt uh, grow light. So this is what the box looks like. And I store them in their boxes at the end of every season. And I did a test with these um, under these grow lights and under the grow light in my laundry room just to see, you know, see germination and they did just as well. So either grow light works great. Um, this one, I have no complaints. Um, you can actually hang them or you can set up on the shelf. So, um, and I saved everything for repackaging. You know, they do a really nice job with the foam and everything. And I still have my hanging cord, but I haven't used them because they go on a shelf. And it's a folding shelf that I use. So it's really nice that I can store that. Um, so here is, the grow light and it's so simple um, to put it together. Hang on, let me readjust this. Okay, so it comes with the two stands and then here is the light panel and you just have to put these in, lock them into place. And then of course you flip it over, put it on the shelf. And these are extremely bright. Um, just plug it in so you can see. Okay, it took a second for that. Uh, it's blinding, let me tell you. But it has the different colors, um, extremely bright. So I'm gonna put this over on the shelf with the other ones, but I just wanted to show that with you. Uh, when you stand it up, that's how it stands. And you can also change the level, I can raise it up. And I think that's this is as low as it will go. Um, which is fine. If I want it closer, I can always put something underneath the planting cells and, um, you know, control the height that way if I don't want them to get leggy, uh, some plants that I start. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and move this over there, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I put the grow light over there, and right now I'm going to start some lettuce and spinach seeds. And um, so there's 72 cells in this, and I have my markers. And I went ahead and started going through my potting soil. Because lettuce, you kind of, you know, you don't want a lot of sticks and stuff in there. And the potting mix that I got really didn't have very much. I mean, all this soil, so far that's all I pulled out as far as large sticks. And because this is a potting soil, it's not a seed starting mix. If you get a seed starting mix, you're not going to have any, um, you shouldn't have any sticks in it. Just light and fluffy, but this is pretty fluffy and I'm pretty happy with it. It's that Epsoma uh, potting mix, uh, organic potting mix. So I have this in a tray that I can put the water in. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the soil. All the lettuce and spinach that I picked out to start, these are all frost hardy. Um, here is a Merlot lettuce. I'm going to start a little gem. This is a romaine. Freckles romaine. And Paris Island. And this I get from M.I. Gardener. Uh, this is the mix. It's a salad bowl mix. And you could do it, uh, separate them to get the larger heads, or you can plant these. Uh, last year I planted in a container like this. And I just spread all the seeds on here, and it's a cut and come again. Uh, lettuce, lettuce is a cut and come again. Uh, even with the head, you can cut the, uh, as long as you don't cut or pull it up, and just cut it above the, um, where the roots are about an inch above and it will come back again. So um, this year I like the head lettuce um, and it does take a little bit longer. Uh, the salad bowl, uh, I had a salad to eat after 30 days after planting. And so I got some spinach here. This is the baby greens, um, which is great for spinach salad, uh, smoothies, anything like that. Oops. And this is amaranth. This is a different one. I never grew this before from Baker's Creek. I just really like the colors, but it is a spinach. And then the Bloomsdale long-standing spinach. So um, the way I start my lettuce is I went through this and got most of the larger sticks out. And now I'm just going to fill up these cells. And if I see any uh, larger sticks, I'll be taking them out. Lettuce does like a looser soil. And I'm in my kitchen, so this is where I start a lot of my seeds. And it can be messy. Right now I just want to fill up all these cells.
Okay, so right now the next step I'm going to do is got these filled up, but I'm going to push down on each cell because that is going to give it more um, as the soil is still kind of fluffy and it goes down quite a bit. So if I were not to do this and then water them, all the soil would recede down and there wouldn't be enough in there. And I don't want to do that after I put my seeds in because then the seeds would be too deep. So that's one thing you want to do. I'm just going to add the really low ones. I'll add more soil. Okay, so now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-moisten the soil uh, before I add the seeds to it. And so I'm going to take them over to the sink and then bring it back. And I'll show you when I start putting seeds in. Okay, so this is all pre-moistened. I'm going to move this up a little. And um, and I went ahead and got my markers all done ahead of time. And so I'm doing by six cells. Um, so like in this six cells, I'm going to put the Paris Island uh, lettuce. And in here, hopefully, I'm only going to do a couple seeds in each one and I'll thin it out because I want the heads. So I'm just going to drop a couple seeds in there. There's like three in that one. I'm going to put a little too many. Actually, the Paris Island, I'm going to do 12 cells. Seeds back in. And most of your packets are, um, you can reseal them, but to be extra safe, I like putting tape on it. Okay, the next one I want to do, so I'm skipping because these are all the Paris Island, and now I'm going to do the Merlot. Merlot's a beautiful lettuce.
Okay, the next one I'm going to do is the little gems. I'm only doing six of the Merlot, so now I'm going to do six of the little gems. Okay, now I'm going to do the Freckles Romaine. And I'm going to do six of those. Okay, so next is a romaine lettuce, just a regular old green. This is from Johnny's. Actually, of these, I'm going to do 12 of the cells because I love romaine. <coughs> okay, and now I'm going to start on my spinach. So baby greens I'll do over here. The amaranth, I'm gonna put these six cells. Never grew it before, I don't know what it tastes like. Although they're saying it's a spinach substitute, so. These seeds are very, very tiny. sprinkle them in there and once they start germinating I can separate them or thin them out and I'll up pot at that time okay so the this is the baby green spinach these seeds are a little bit bigger So I'll probably just put two in each one. Two or three. And these I bought from the local uh, greenhouse. These are packaged for 2023, so I got these last year. Okay. And 
And last, the Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. And I'm doing 12 cells of that. Okay, now that I got all the seeds in, I'm going to go ahead and top it off with a little bit of soil. That's Abby getting a drink of water, <laughs> in case you're wondering. I got a little messy there on my floor. Okay, so I got everything topped off there, and I'm going to water these on top one more time, or you know, not one more time, but now that I got the seeds in. If I see any large little sticks or something, I'm taking them out. Because they do let us, you know, the seeds, the roots, they like to breathe. So I don't want to um, have it too compact with uh, sticks and stuff in there. They need room. So I'm going to go ahead and top this off with water. So I got these all topped off, got everything marked. I'm going to make another marker uh, for the ones where I did 12, just in case things get shifted around. I don't want to um, not know what's in here. So there's a Paris Island. Put that in here. And another I did two of was the baby green spinach. And 
in there. Another one I did was the romaine. I did uh, 12 cells romaine. There. And then here I did the um, long day spinach. It was long day. Long standing spinach. Okay, so. Okay, with the lettuce. Um, so I am starting these now. So. These will be grown for a couple weeks, and, you know, either I'm going to thin them out or I might transplant them into a uh, bigger pot. Um, I might actually be using these, but right now it is the end of January, so I'm going to say by the, once they get pretty well established, they're going to go out in my greenhouse. Uh, like I said, these are all frost hardy, the ones that I picked. Um, so they can go in my greenhouse because we're still going to have cold nights, um, but during the day, it'll warm up really nice, and I will be up potting into a larger container, and that will be nice because it'll make keep room in my house. Um, so these are going to go under my grow light. So I got the lettuce in. I'm really happy about that. Um, my onions are started. Now the other thing I'll probably be starting are some of my herbs. And um, the lavender I might do differently this year because I'm not really winter sowing this year. I usually do winter sow every year. Um, I haven't really decided whether I'm going to do that. We haven't really had a that cold of a winter. Um, so... Like on these instructions for lavender, because they need that cold stratification, um, this is the way they instruct to plant the lavender if you're not going to winter sow. Start seeds indoor in late winter. Sprinkle on moist paper towels. Hold in fridge 30 to 40 days. Seeds will sprout. Can be placed into pots and grown indoors until planting outdoors after the last frost date. So I think that's how I'm going to do the ones that need a cold stratification like the lavender. And uh, the rosemary, this sprouts in 14 to 28 days. So it's the end of, Feb or end of January. So I'm thinking mid-February is when I'll be starting a lot of my herbs that take a while, like the stevia, the rosemary. I'm going to go through all of those. And... Um, get my herbs started and anyhow isn't it exciting we could finally start planting <laughs> um i don't know i'm excited about it and i know a lot of you are so plus we'll see how this potting soil does uh potting mix that i did that's all i'm using i'm not using any seed starting mix uh, actually i didn't last year either but this is a new potting soil that i'm using because I noticed last year with the happy frog, um, there was a lot of big chunk sticks in there and stuff. And there's a few in this one, but not as much. I mean, really. I mean, out of that big bowl, I only had like that much. So um, I got to pull out three more grow lights. And so the onions are done. I did go on... Uh, Baker Creek, and they had their uh, black strawberries in, so I will have that in my plant cell this year. <sighs> and I got the Sunrise Bumblebee. And I know, I keep ordering stuff. It's like, <laughs> I need to, no. Oh, the other thing I will be starting are my Snapdragons. I'm not doing as much as I did last year. Uh, these take 10 to 14 days to sprout. Um, and there is, these actually require light to germinate. What that means is, you know how you've seen I covered up the lettuce seeds uh, with a little bit of soil once I put the seeds in. With the snapdragons, you're not supposed to do that because uh, it says it requires light to germinate. However, last year I did 
because I didn't realize that, and I did cover them a little with the soil, and they all sprouted. I had so many snapdragons. But, um, and the one I did cover with vermiculite, so I still have some of that left from last year, so I might just do that. Um, but there is um, a technique with, you know, starting the snapdragons, and then when they're very tiny, once they start getting their roots, then I up pot them into their own little cell. And these are also frost hardy. So uh, I will be starting these. Sprouts in 10 to 14 days. Uh, so let me see, where are we? End of January. Uh, I might be starting these like, because I won't have my plant sale until either mid-May or the end if I put these in there. So I might wait until the end of February to start these. I don't know yet. Um, but the lettuce, that is for as soon as I get my heads and stuff. That's for my own personal uh, preference of eating. Um, so I am starting those now. And you can grow lettuce in your house all year long. And the onions I did start because I will be planting them uh, at the end of March, beginning of April, first week of April, or last week of March, depending on our weather. And anyhow, that's it. So um, I'm still working on my plant pots. Got another one done. So I'm really excited about these. These are going in my plant sale. Um, I think these are just adorable. This is a bigger pot because I did the smaller ones. And so hopefully people like them. Um, I know I do. So, all right, that's it. Now I'm going to get busy working on my pots, putting some stuff away and straightening up a little bit. And that's it. And thank you so much for joining me. Thanks to all the new subscribers. And uh, leave comments if you have any questions, um, you know, different things you're starting. Go ahead and, and tell me. Um, I'm not sure where everybody's at, so... You know, um, a lot of you are in different areas. I'm in Northeast Ohio, so uh, I know ours is a little bit different than if you live in Florida or in the Carolinas or whatever. So, all right, guys, uh, take care, and um, thanks for joining me, and I will talk to you on the next one. All right, bye.